I'm live, I guess. Okay, so I got a job. I got a job. I'm gonna try to keep this short, but not that short. I got a job as a wall climber and I got these shoes years ago. I hardly ever climb, sadly. I don't leave my apartment, sadly. Um, but I got a job in a film and these were my shoes. So nice, right? So nice, but so painful. Actually, the last time I wore them rock climbing years ago, uh, my my toes got so messed up. I they were in so much pain, and I think I was even wearing socks at the time, which made it even hard, which which made it even more painful because it was even tighter. So this is the problem: is this big thick rubber? Now these I'm a size seven shoe, and uh, these are size seven, and they are like it's like wearing a five and a half shoe. That's how tight these damn things are. So I looked up some things online because I got to make sure that I am okay for tomorrow. So this, I, I decided, let me let me do what I think is um, would help. And the one, the only one person that I saw online said something about a hot spot, and they said marbles and these shoe stretchers. And I meant to get shoe stretchers for this thing, but uh, the shoe stretchers were for men's shoes and they were like way big. But he said marbles. Well, this is what I have. These are magnetic like healing balls. See. Um, which I, I don't ever use. I bought them years ago for some ailment or, uh, or array of mysterious ailments as they claim to fix. So now they're going to fix my rock climbing shoe because I don't have marbles and I think the glass is too, too, uh, fragile. And I don't want to use a hairdryer. They said something like that, using a hairdryer, but be careful not to use the hairdryer too long or too intensely because the glue in here, actually this, there's like a little sole here and then this is attached, but you know what? I don't care. I need this freaking thing. So I'm going to use a curling iron. So this is what I did with this shoe already. And I, I put it on like full blast and I put those balls in there. It could be marbles, any steel, something you have. I happen to have those things to kind of like help push. And this rubber will get like nice and um, hot careful not to like because I'm, I'm applying some pressure be careful not to burn yourself by like accidentally sliding off of it or something on your leg so anyway I did this a couple times for this shoe and I actually felt a difference and I was even taking you know marbles out pushing in, in, in the different areas where it was and then I'm even taking the shoe and kind of like pushing it and stretching it and you could actually see it like stretching it as you kind of like roll roll this area to make it fatter it's like why why is it so tight i mean rock climbing shoes are freaking the best ever if you if you never want to slip they should put this on like the bottom of all shoes that exist for just all shoes should have this rock climbing rubber so i put it i actually put it on my foot and it actually was after working on it, I, I worked on it for a little it's sl it's like it's much better i would say yeah it's it's much better it's still tight but I don't think I'm going to have the problems I had with it. Um, I don't think I'm going to have the problems I had. So, I mean, you can keep watching, but I basically showed you what I'm doing. But on now I'm going to work on... So now, that, that's a nice short video. You got your answer real quick. This is the one... I mean, look at that toe. Actually, you can't even tell. You can't tell. Um, it's just so narrow. So narrow to try to... Put my and I have a narrow foot. I have a narrow size seven shoe. So I'm gonna see. The guy said mark with a magic marker. I'm gonna put this shoe on. Let's see. Oh yeah. It's, it's actually like underneath my sole. It's actually bunching up underneath my foot there. So I'm gonna do this. This is not even. I didn't even put the. Uh, the safety, uh, the, the, the Velcro on this. I wanted Velcro shoes. I got these fancy schmancy shoes on eBay. I'm actually putting my foot up like this, it doesn't, this one's for some reason looser to begin with, but I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna work on it. So they said, okay, so this is where my toe is. So they said to mark with a magic marker where, this one actually feels looser. I'm just gonna try to do this whole area. So I'm going to use these, whatever I had, these magnet, they're just like stretchy balls that I have, shove them in here, really 
shove them deep in there because the whole idea is to, um, and this is like on full blast, 450 degrees here. And, and like I said, I don't care if the glue comes apart. It's just for a job on camera, film job, wall climbing. Who knows? But I'm not even going to be wall climbing. I'm just supposed to be uh, standing there as if I'm about to climb. They'll have the other wall climbers probably. They're probably going to try to get away without having a stunt contract. You're supposed to have a stunt contract for that. That kind of stuff because... And I mean, they're probably going to have official belayers and rock climbers in there to help with the with the knot tying and the carabiners and all that. But because I haven't done it a long time, I forgot how to do the knots. You know, it's very specific. You know, you don't want your. So now I'm going to stretch this. Now that it's it's like really kind of like warm and hot, the rubber is. I'm gonna push this, push those balls in there. You know. I don't even know if you need the balls. The other thing I was going to do was wet it and try to make, but the, this, the, it's the rubber that's, you know, wetting rubber will do nothing. I thought it would be like maybe the suede in here. I couldn't remember. And then try to stretch it. I don't have shoe stretchers, but what you want, if you do have this shoe, shoe stretcher, you would want to um, heat up the area. I mean, stretching with a shoe stretcher could take days. And this is, this is tomorrow. So I'm, now I'm going to, you know, massage this a little bit to make it, to try to expand it, you know, put, put in, <laughs> make it have like hours worth <laughs> of time on the rock that I do not have. Do not have. I just love, I, I love rock climbing. I love rock climbing shoes, but I just don't go. I think it's been like four years since I've done anything like that wall climb or whatever. I bet you can probably go around the whole shoe doing this. So this, um, I guess you, also it's like the height of this area, like from here to here. I mean, your foot is like just smushed in there. Anyway, I think I showed you enough. It's, it's heating it up with this hair iron. Heat it up, heat it up. You can probably, if you, my hand is in there now. If you put your hand in there, you'll probably feel the heat from the iron coming to the other side. I was going to I was going to get out my uh my soldering tool but that that would actually probably just like burn up the rubber. The like guy mentioned a hair dryer but I don't even think a hair dryer would get hot enough. Um you know, the hair the, the hair dryer would just be so noisy and annoying and blowing everything at the same time and getting everything so hot. At least this is a um a concentrated specific direct hotness heat that'll loosen this rubber two places i went rock climbing is ss park and uh, new paltz the gunks both both amazing freaking mind-blowing areas and uh, my life i just stay inside I climbed the walls instead. You know, people that are climbing, you know, she's, she's going crazy, she's climbing the wall. They were, she was climbing the walls. Is that, is that a saying? Is it scratching the walls or climbing the walls? You know, I stay in my apartment, I climb the walls in my apartment instead. That would be kind of cool. Climb the walls in my own apartment. Climb the ceiling, maybe. I can't do that. So hopefully this, will, okay. I will not bore you with any more of my boredom. That was too close. A little too close there. Too close for comfort. How do I, how do I say goodbye? Are you sure you want to stop stream, streaming? End. And the other thing I have to do is get the streaming on my computer. I don't have, YouTube is making me do this 